Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? Well, today we're going to be talking about something that I think is likely to happen, which is I think that it's pretty close to Lost Belt 6 being released. Um, so that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. So what do I mean by that? Um, well, first things first. Traditionally, let's look at where Lost Belts traditionally. Let's look at where Lost Belt 6 came out in the JP side of the game. So we go here, go to 2021, we can see here that Lost Belt 6 came out in July, no it was June, yes, Avalon Le Fay Lost Belt released, June 11th, that's all well and good, currently the way we can kind of see some of the way we, the, the events that have to kind of transpire for us to get there, we have all of April, which is this event right here, which we're currently doing along with hunting quests. We have to do servant strengthening, we have to do this. Boom, 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 and then we get to May and there's not much. Then we get to June, and then boom, July, Lost Belt 6, and then followed up with 6th um, Anniversary, which is in August, which is a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, that's what it looks like on the JP side of the game. That's likely not going to happen for us in the US, and the reason is, is that... So... <laughs> On the six year anniversary, which we can see right here, as always, there's a lucky bag summon, and on that banner features Morgan, and it also features Lancelot over here, the fairy uh, Lancelot. That's good, that's cool, that's cool. Um, but here's the problem our anniversary is actually in July and not in August. <laughs> So that means we're actually a month, our months are a little bit crazy because of that. So that means in order for us to get the full experience, which NA has always done, is that there's never been a change to the GSSR because the one there was one time where they didn't confirm that the GSSR was happening and everyone freaked the hell out. So they know, they know that you can't, if they mess up anything with this, they'll never hear the end of it. Um... And it's also a weird experience because everyone on the NA side has either heard of the JP version or played the JP version just because of that two year gap where like the only reason that there's any interest in Fago over here is that there was enough people that played the JP version that said, hey, it'd be really cool if we had an NA version. And thankfully the JP version makes so much money it can fund an NA version no problem. Um, so yes. In order for them to fully kind of do this Lucky Bag summoning, we need to have both Morgan and Lancelot. Which means not only will we have Lost Belt um, 6 out early, that also means that we would need to get this summoning campaign 2, which is... Let me see where it is. Excuse me if I'm going too fast on this one. Because I need to remember exactly where... Oh, obviously it would come in. Uh, July. This is where Lancelot comes in is in this part three summoning campaign right here which takes place i think let me see lost belt six yeah that's a full month almost a full month after yeah that's a crazy what the hell were we doing in this month where it was like a full month after release so here's the thing that's most likely so when lost belt six first released i believe it was time gated so you couldn't actually complete all the story. I think it's likely that we have that, those same time gates. But I also think it's more likely that we remove them and it's a little bit faster so that we don't have that exact same experience. Because that's the only way we're going to be able to... Um, able to get those units in time. Uh, so what does that mean for savings? It means you have a lot less time than you think to actually save... For any of the units that you want, especially if you're someone who's really going for Lancelot, you have less time than you were probably expecting. Just because we have to get in our anniversary, just because of the way that our anniversary happens and when it starts, you're gonna be there's gonna be a mad scramble, there's gonna be a mad dash. Now, obviously, if we look at the timeline here, I think the thing because I was seeing in the, in the comments of the previous video where I was going over the events that are coming in April. I was seeing some people saying at the end of April is when it would be the most likely chance for Lost Belt 6 to come out. And I think that makes a lot of sense, because if you look at this month, a lot of the things that they all have on offer, like 
spring in full bloom, which is what we have currently going on. Let's see when it ends. Um, it currently goes from the 30th till March 9th. So if we look at the timetable, that means that it's basically a week and one, two, three days. Now let's see how long it was over here. This went from April 7th to April 21st. One, two, that was a full two weeks. That's how long this banner lived in Japan. Not our version of the banner though. Our version of the banner, as I said, is a week and a couple days. So they're already ramping up how long certain things are gonna take. I wouldn't be surprised. This one took place from April 14th to April 28th. Was this also a two week? God damn, God damn. There's no way this thing lasts for <laughs> two weeks. Uh, I don't see that happening. But to be fair, this event does start in like two days before this ends. Um, but I still see them doing something with Grail Live where I think Grail Live will likely come out a week into this one. Hmm, let me see. Is there anything special about this one? No, not really. On the, there's nothing stopping them from just on the seventh day, after the seventh day, releasing Grail Live. Or it. Um, yeah, this would also have to take place at the exact same time. So I see a lot of ways for them to kind of move stuff forward in order for it to make sense and we get it. Look at this month. If you look at this month, I don't think they'll cut the time in for Grail Live, by the way. I think it's the April 26th till the 10th, so that is two weeks. I think we take we keep those two weeks, so wherever it comes in, we will always get those two weeks. And then in May, this is where we're going to get the Mad Dash. Because if you look in May, there wasn't actually very much. This event took place from May 19th to June 9th. Let me see, May 19th to June 9th. Oh, boy, this is almost three weeks. I guess to be fair, this this rerun is really long. Insanely long. So if this is an insanely long rerun, what's to say that this doesn't get moved back in some way and maybe some other stuff gets moved forward instead? Like, there's nothing really stopping them from moving back Nero Fest. Like, there's certain events here where... It just, they can move backwards just because there's nothing really super intrinsic to them being put up there because there's not a new unit being introduced that would be into the GSSR. So if they wanted to, but I don't think they will, they would probably move back um, this event right here, which is the Holy Grail Front. I could see them moving this one back because we have had Summer moved in the past back. So this could definitely be happening just so we can get Lost Belt out earlier. I could see Nero Fest maybe being held back a little bit just so that we can guarantee that this comes out first. And then we can start the commemorative, and then if you look at this, this is just like... <laughs> everything about this like is a little bit screwy with the way that events are coming out. Because remember, this is also around pandemic time is when stuff is starting to happen, and Fago was already having some issues when it came to like time releases, so it wasn't the greatest on that. So yeah. I could see them pushing back some stuff just so that we can move forward and we can actually do Lost Belt 6 and get this stuff done. Because like I said, the main thing here that we need to have is that we need to have Lost Belt 6 done in order to get these two onto the banners and be able to play. That means we actually don't have as much time as you think, especially if you're someone who's looking for Morgan or Lancelot. Now thankfully, if you're someone who loves Morgan and Lancelot, I have good news for you, they get rerun a lot. Morgan, I think, has had four reruns already. <laughs> I think she's also the unit who had the quickest rerun because uh, she went from... If we could see here for her release in the JP version of the game, this is when she came out. I remember this because when she came out... I'm wondering if she came out for the pre-release or something. Yeah, somebody campaign. No. I'm just clicking buttons, bro. I think for this one, Lost Belt release. Here we go. Here's Morgan. Here's them. And then we have Castoria as the second one for Summoning Campaign 2. Um, this is what the first banner is. Now, this is funny because when she first releases, a lot more people were interested in Faye Gawain and Faye Tr uh, Tristan over here definitely Tristan but then a thing happened people read the Lost Belt 6 story and they ended up really liking her and almost two months later 
when they realized everyone was a big fan of Morgan now, they re-released her <laughs> so you can get her again. <laughs> I think this is the only time a, a Lost Belt has had a Lost Belt summoning banner and then a conclusion banner so you can summon on these units again. Because, again, the Lost Belt 6 story was super well-liked in Japan. I don't think there's a single unit on here that is new that is not a fan favorite over in Japan. Like, Morgan, Tristan, Gawain, the... some other characters that I don't want to mention because they're technically tied to the story, but they're tied to them, they're very popular. Like, even the most unpopular character is still more popular than certain other characters in Fogo at the moment that came from specifically Lost Belt 6. It's kind of crazy. Um, I think probably the least favorite the one likes is probably Barrel, but that's because he's a weird, he's a weird man. So no one was really a fan of him to begin with, and that didn't change when the story came out. But I don't know that much about the actual story details because again, I didn't. I try not to read too much into the story so I can enjoy it myself when it comes out. But either way, what I'm trying to say here is that if you're someone who is looking for Morgan, I would say probably wait because again, there's just so much, man. This anniversary is real rough. I think, let me see, hers it goes until September 1st. Let me see, where is, here is, yeah, here is, no, why am I getting this so screwed up? This is when six year anniversary comes out. This is when we've got, nope, what is going on here? Why are you not showing me the correct thing? That's the commemorative campaign. I'm dumb, I'm a dumb dumb. There it is. So, we have this banner to go through right here. And Vich is a very good unit. And then we have another one where we feature another character who is right here. Yeah, this is the first campaign one, which I'm showing purposely, not on purpose, even though at this point most people know who he is. Just to be sure, if you're somehow not spoiled at this point, I'm not going to show him. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. So, <laughs> good luck saving. If you're someone specifically who's looking at this month, which is what we have here going on, you're tempted by a lot of these units, especially because a lot of these units are... Some of the units that are not really, as we go forward, are probably not the most pop, except for Summer. God, Summer's always popular. But we have, like... Oh, man, I was about to say, he's not very popular, but he actually is very popular. Merlin, obviously, is very popular. Uh, actually, for when I'm looking at these dudes, there's actually a fair amount of characters who are very popular, but probably don't get featured very often, and of course, that's what... And then they also have characters like Castoria, where it's like, they're insanely popular, and also insanely good. So either way, it's an insane month, but for the most part, I say wait for anniversary, see how you do till then, and then kind of spread them out. I say that, but, you know, that's what I'm going to be trying to do. I think I'm going to... I am going to still probably summon... A little bit on Mer Morgan's first banner but because it's only her first one it's not gonna be for very much and then I'm just gonna actually wait to see um, future ones because there I actually want her I want both of the four so it's kind of annoying for me but it's honestly just better to just wait especially because also she is on the GSSR and if I fail to get actually man, I probably shouldn't do a video at all I'm gonna stick to my word and I'm not gonna do summons at all <laughs> until close to anniversary just because it doesn't make sense. We literally know that this is coming. And if this doesn't come, that really sucks. <laughs> so hopefully it does show up. I've never put it to my mind. What if this banner doesn't show up? It's never really been a thing. And to be honest, I'm kind of afraid of it now that I've brought it into the mind palace. But you know what? I'm going to assume that this banner is still on track to come out. But yeah, I just wanted to bring it up because maybe some people don't fully understand how the timeline is looking and assume I think it always catches everyone off guard that our anniversary is a full month before the JP versions um, it's different timelines in that so that's why our timelines are always wonky and looking at this stuff I definitely see a lot of things that they can move up and they can cut some time and as you can already see some of our stuff has already been cut a little bit with the spring and full block obviously they can't cut down the hunting quest by that much uh, let me see if they Doop, doop. Yeah, you can see here from March 30th to April 6th, which is one week, 
and on JP it was one week. So yeah, some things they can't cut back, but for some of the things that they can, they'll look to do it where they can. Uh, like I said, this specific summoning campaign is one of the weird outliers here where this ran for two weeks. And we're getting... Nah, not this one. We ran this one for almost two, over two weeks. And this one is not getting it as long for us. So. Oh, man. I gotta remember to keep these things in line. Sorry. The thing is, like, slightly just off-center from... I should really fix it on my side. So it makes sense for both of mine. But that's a problem I'll work on in for a later video. But that's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you all the best of luck when it comes to saving. It's not much longer unfortunately so eventually the day of reckoning has to come there's no avoiding it i wish you all the best of luck and hopefully i have the same amount of luck till next time everyone have a good day peace out